So what we have here is a demonstration of some of the main components for our visual prosthetic as, we're, as we've been developing them. The glasses on the, the, poly, the polystyrene head there have a, a tiny camera centred right on the bridge of the nose. This is feeding visual data into the computer, which is uh, doing the, the first pass of the, of the processing. You can see here the cameras are absolutely tiny. They're actually completely discrete. So yeah. The camera image is going into the computer and it's simplifying it into a bright visual array. You can see here on the LEDs, this is uh, representing the type of uh, an output for two eyes, so a duplicated left and right eye. You can see if you just get the camera image straight through, you can't really make too much sense of the of the bright blues of the environment thereby. But if we start doing a little bit of motion detection, and the simplest type is simply just a, a bright square on anything that moves, and it will pick up objects that are moving in the area nearby. This is uh, bright enough to be seen by someone uh, with, a, with blurred or low vision. If I put the two on top, as you, as you move around the environment, you'll see the, the, the bright blue shifts and the and the orange is tracking the region of the screen that has the greatest movement. And this is just a very simple process which is running here on a laptop but we can run quite simply on a little portable computer.